Hello, I'm Joel Watts, and I want to show you the house I've lived at for the past seven years. First, here's my car. I call it bumper car because I bump into things. Here, you can see I have the appropriate amount of pedals, three, in my car, because unlike most people, I don't drive a golf cart, I drive an automobile. There's the old stick shift. Try stealing this car. This is a nice little bench that is built into my house. It's great for relaxing, drinking, and smooching. Here's the front door. But we're not gonna be using that. We're just gonna teleport straight into my house. This is where I waste most of my time in the living room. Super Smash Brothers Melee! This is the one and only Mondo poster that I own. This is for the Alejandro Dradowski film, Santa Sangre. This is my kitchen. I hate it. It's a galley style, very narrow, hard for more than one person to work in it. Save me. This is my computer. It's for editing and games and stuff. Ah, words, words I've been living by my entire adult life. This I'm quite proud of, my IBM Model M keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, and it feels wonderful to type with. Here you can see other art that I and my roommates have been collecting. And here's the city I live in, Austin, and its many, many roads. Here we have a bookshelf with mostly not books on it. And over here we have my bathroom, which I will spare you from which leads us to my bedroom. Here, I do drawing and journaling at my desk. You can see my out of focus tools. And here's a couple of faces I was drawing while watching YouTube videos a few days ago. Let's see if you can guess who they are. More of the same. Oh, one kind of imaginary one. And that is ContraPoints. I didn't quite catch her essence because she's such a babe. And over here we have my bed. When I was buying my sheets, I decided to go with these rad animals doing radical things, because I'm an adult and I get to make those decisions. Here's my camera bag, the most recent card my girlfriend has sent me. I really enjoy her creativity and packaging. Now we're outside and I wonder what we're gonna find over here. Oh my God. Is that a freaking tree growing out in my house? Oh, you might think this is quite whimsical, but we just mentioned that it comes with a downside. Leaves everywhere. It's so hard to keep up with it that I just gave up. This is the mysterious pink room. It used to be called the blue room before we painted it. Here you can see my biker jacket. Don't be surprised if I go as the T-800 for Halloween. This is the bookshelf with more books on it. Someone once said, if you go to a person's house and they don't have books, don't have sex with them. So I make sure to make this part of my house tour. We'll be moving out soon, and our landlord seems to be making plans already on how to change the house. Here's the materials he's been loading into this extra room we have. Here's a bike that I never ride. I just can't deal with the heat of Texas. So, so sweaty, so sweaty. Anybody want a bike for sale? And now we go to the backyard where much partying, drinking, and smoking has been had. Our attempts at decorating. Another thing that came with the house, this almost tombstone with a lion's head on it. I always wonder why it's here, what it meant to the person who brought it. So majestic. Another piece of the house that's been with us since I've lived here is this bench. At one point was sitable, maybe four or five years ago I actually sat on it. Now whether the nature has taken it back. The rest of the backyard's quite the breath. <laughs> Lawn care is not a priority here. And here's the window to my brother Steven's room. He's quite the talented man. The music that you're listening to, he composed and performed. So if one wasn't enough, two, baby, but a second tree that our house was built around. It often reminds me of society and the boxes that we've built around our own nature. Thanks for watching.